This is ABC 7 News This Morning. Now at 6 a.m., breaking news from Egypt. Deadly violence overnight as security forces move in on protesters who are supporting the country's ousted president. And a tragic end to a day-long standoff at a Louisiana bank. What we have learned about the man police say shot his hostages. And it is sentencing day for Jesse Jackson Jr. and his wife Sandy. Hearings begin in just a matter of hours. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for being with us. We start today with the weather. ABC 7 meteorologist Tracy Butler joins us now from the Weather Center. Tracy. Hi there, Judy and Jose. And just a reminder to everybody, the beach hazard alert, it's still in effect. We'll stay in effect about 10 o'clock this morning. And this is for those dangerous rip currents across uh, especially the southern edge of Lake Michigan. In fact, latest wave height at that Michigan City buoy anyway is of nearly five feet right now. 57 degrees out at O'Hare. It's 59 at Midway. Some numbers in the 40s complete forecasts in just a few moments. Ross? Expressways are in fine shape, very light traffic volume, but we've got some breaking news on the city's northwest side. Chopper 7 HD over diversity at the Chicago River where the Chicago Fire Department was responding to a person in the river. You can see all of the emergency crews, Chicago police on site as well as they are looking for somebody who possibly fell into the river. We'll have more details as it becomes available. Public transportation this morning that is all on time jose back to you ross thank you we have some breaking news from alabama just into our newsroom a cargo plane has crashed at the airport in birmingham it's a ups cargo plane and there are reports that just two pilots were on board so far no word if they are okay no reports of any injuries on the ground but We'll bring you the latest updates as we get them. And there is also breaking news in Egypt right now. The death toll could be in the dozens or even higher from the confrontation in Cairo. Security forces stormed two camps filled with supporters of ouster President Mohamed Morsi. Morsi supporters have been conducting sit-ins. Now, overnight, security forces swept in, backed by armored cars and bulldozers. Protesters were showered with tear gas, and the sound of gunfire rang out at both sides. Officially, the death toll right now is 15, but the political arm of Morsi's Muslim Brotherhood claimed the death toll is in the hundreds and injuries in the thousands. And there is a frantic effort in India to get 18 sailors trapped aboard a submarine out. This is happening in the port of Mumbai. The sub exploded and sank. Now, we're told the fire is now out. India's defense minister says that lives have been lost, but no other details have been released. And a tragic end to a day-long standoff at a bank in rural St. Joseph, Louisiana. Police shot and killed a man who was holding two bank workers hostage, but not before the gunman shot the hostage. One of the two has died. Police have now identified the gunman as 20-year-old Fuad Abdul Ahmed, and they say robbery was not his intent. He was attempting to make a statement, and all uh, evidence that we uncovered uh, at his apartment as we were transgressing through the uh, through the night indicated he wrote things down that he was going to do. Uh, and, uh, from what we saw at the scene and learned in the negotiation process, he did each one of those. The gunman initially took three hostages, but released one last night before police stormed the building. The other hostage who was shot is now in critical condition. And the video you were just watching tells us that the sentencing is this morning for former Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr. and his wife Sandy. Sentencing hearings start in just a few hours. The two will find out if they will serve any jail time. ABC 7's Jason Knowles live in the South Shore neighborhood this morning with a look at what could happen today. Jason. Well, Jose, in just about two and a half hours, the sentencing hearings will begin for Sandy and Jesse Jackson Jr. We have learned that both of them are going to be asking the judge for leniency. In the meantime, we